What's going on, guys? The Jammer in here. Um, <laughs> this is the second time recording. You ever have your mic and you're talking for like a good six minutes and then realize that your mic is off or on mute? Yeah, that just happened. So <laughs> I had to redo this whole thing, oh, which is fine. I usually take a couple takes anyways, um, <laughs> and, and mostly because I always forget to mute, not unmute my mic, and I usually mute it when I'm playing a game or a meeting, and I don't want people to hear me chewing. Um, but anyways, uh, I am bringing you, I know it's not a tier 10 match. I'm in my tier six Japanese tank, the Chito. Oh, that sounds so racist. Yeah, but oh well, you know, Chito, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. I'm just guessing. Uh, it's literally spelled Chito if you're reading in English. And I already realized, oh, I'm in a tier eight match in a tier six tank. So I know a lot of people would actually go, oh, you know, I give up. I'm in a tier six. There's no, nothing I can do. I'm just uh, cannon fodder for these bigger tanks and stuff like that. But really, there's other low tier tanks in the other team. You know, you're going to be able to do damage to them. You're able to kill them and do what you can for your team. Get those little pesky little 100, 100 HP shots out of the way um, to help your team. So really, um, that's what this video is about. I want to talk to you guys about um, being... Uh, a, a team player really being um being somebody who you your team count even though you're low tier um but you're going to be able to do you're able to do damage you're able to be that little little mosquito of a pest to these higher tier tanks um and either you know, kill lower tier tanks or do you know minimal damage that kind of adds up on these higher tier tanks from either side shots or the back shots you never want to be in the front on a tier six match. I am in the front on a tier, in the tier six on a tier eight match. That's because I have a really good shot on these guys because they're pushing up too, really too far. So here we go. I'm going to be going against this AMX 5100. He's not even looking at me. That's a tier eight heavy tank. Uh, granted, it's a French tank, so he's not the most heavily armored. But I got a side, and I'm able to just penetrate pen after pen after pen. Um, and help my team out uh, and whittling him down so he's a one shot for the other AR, AMX, for our teammate. So, really, that's what I want to, like I said, this is what I talk about. I want to show you guys that even though the odds are stacked against you when you have a situation like this where you know your tank isn't the best, and the, the Jap these Japanese medium tanks are not the best tanks, especially this low tier. Once they get up to tier 8 and above, you start getting sloped armor, you don't have these flat spots on your armor that you, your people are going to be able to penetrate um, really easily. Um, but, you know, these low tier tanks, and this is where you get good, this is where you learn to angle your armor, this is where you understand to play as a team and stuff like that too. So. Uh, take these take these really bad matchups bad in quotation marks because um, it's really relative You're, you can have a good game in a low tier tank against higher tier vehicles it's just understanding your strengths your weaknesses um, paying attention to the map communicating with your team and you'll have awesome games you'll be able to do um, you know like right here uh, I went up against Cromwell right there I did a lot of damage to him made him back up he turned to me he stopped shooting at my team he focused on me but at that point, I already had enough damage um, done to him where I wasn't worried. I was going to take a shot from him, but I was able to kill him. And then here, I have backup from a heavy and a medium tank. And I believe, yeah, this Churchill is going to come straight for me. He is out for vengeance. Um, thinking, you know, because I'm a medium tank and he knows he can penetrate me. And he's just going to aim for me. But then he, ex he ex completely exposes his side. Um to our teammates um, and I'm able to kind of just run around him here and there um, and you know do damage to him too and let my the rest of my team finish him up for me um, I was actually trying to finish him off there but obviously my teammate killed him which is perfectly fine you're gonna have it's, it's not an individual you want to do good obviously um, but you're able to do good just fine without with your team you know I'm gonna get damage regardless so I'm gonna do it my best um, but there you go. I already killed two tanks. Um, granted they're tier six, but that's two tier sixes that the rest of my team doesn't have to worry about. Um, you know, it, it, it annoys me to no end when people immediately see, oh, I'm in a tier match in a tier six tank. 
I give up. I'm just gonna do either a do nothing, so and just rage quit. B, go be cannon fodder, and just run down the enemy lines, show them where you are, but then be of absolutely no use afterwards, because that's dumb too. You know, you should be able to continuously spot your enemies. You know, and if you, I I think the biggest thing that helped me a lot was playing in light tanks, where you're always a lower tier of everything else around you. You're always gonna, have, well, not always, but the majority of the time, you're gonna be. A lower tier tank um in a in a light tank um, but it's those matches that kind of let me know that you know what i can be a huge asset to my team um even though i'm a low tier tank i'm i should be able to spot my speed should be able to get me where i need to go my speed should be able to get me out of hairy situations and fall back granted you don't always have that option but if you're in a heavy tank platoon with higher tier heavies and be that support tank you pop out shoot back up wait till the enemy fires at your higher tier tanks and let them be cannon fodder you know they're gonna they're used to that and a lot of heavy tanks that will understand that you're <laughs> two tiers lower than them yeah by all means <laughs> don't be in the front because it's better to have more guns than less guns if you die that's one less gun to help your team um, but you know, uh, it's kind of a ranty video, but it's more or less kind of, I just want you guys to know that even though you're a low tier tank, you're going to be able to do good. And just like here, um, I lived, I killed two tanks. I did 13 penetration and I was actually the third on my team. So, you know, it's, it's games like these where it'll make you better. Um, but yeah, uh, leave a like down below guys. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>